Well, I won't keep you today. Uh, a very short go on uh, a game called Meta Moquesta, um, which uh, I've not heard of before. It's banned Presto 1995. Uh, it was known as Only the Demon's Master in Japan. Uh, why they chose Meta Moquesta, I have no idea. Is it Meta Moquesta? No, it's Meta Moquesta. But whoever come up with that, um, you're a weirdo. <laughs> um, it's similar to uh, Monster Maulers, which we played previously on the channel. I'll leave a link at the end. Um, I would go into the rules uh, of how the 20p challenge is played, but you know what? You're going to have to look at the link below for that because uh, I don't last long enough and I've got some stuff to go through. Um... It's ba this is basically a boss fight beat em up. If you um, have two players, it's not uh, one against each other. You basically will co cooperate. Um, it's got multiple endings dependent on your performance and if you're in uh, playing cooperatively or not. Um, and it's based on a Japanese RPG that began on the Game Boy. They've got its own anime, which I didn't know. Um, so yeah, um, obviously that was called Oni the Demon Master. Um, and it's very, 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 very hard. It's basically like Dark Souls. <laughs> but uh, if you turned it into like a one-on-one -on -one beat -em up Because uh, uh, it's all based on timing, which I don't have. Um, the bosses, um, they sort of have an advantage. Um, so like when you fight them, uh, they can knock you down and then it's like when you're on your like butt, they can continue to attack you and stuff like, you know, if they take a life away. So yeah, very difficult game. There won't be many people getting very far in it. Um, there will be people that get further than I did because I'm getting very far as you can see by the length of the video. Now, um, it didn't come out on anything by the way, either, as far as I'm aware. Um, but very pretty game, quite like it. And, um, obviously chose the anime girl. Um, because um, I'm an old pervert, aren't I? Uh, speaking of which, genital facts. Do, 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 do. Don't worry, I've got lost the license. It's playing underneath. Um, yeah, foxes, because uh, this character, Yakahame, uh, she has a fox, as you can see on her shoulder there. Abs does absolutely bugger all throughout the duration of the game. Nothing whatsoever. Completely pointless. But uh, it does give, give us a chance to go back to our roots and talk about animals, genitals. Um, you know, because that's what we're all here for, isn't it? I think. That's what... <laughs> oh, uh, mankind's purpose on Earth is to talk about the genitals of foxes. So, um, foxing. Foxing? Yeah, well, I suppose they are foxing. So they're foxing in uh, January and February. So that's when the mating season happens. So um, one of the key things about uh, foxes mating season um, in January and February is they will make a very specific noise. So you will hear the noise I'm going to play now. Uh, that is the noise of a fox doing a mating call. Um, uh, so yeah, that weird noise that they never tell you about in school, nothing to do with that crap mid 2010 song, um, that, uh, lied to you first continue down. Um, this is what it actually sounds like. So yeah, that's the noise. Now the noise of them actually doing it is even more horrific, which is this. Goodness me. Crikey. Well, someone's having a good time and it's not the person trying to sleep. Um, I've got loads around my way. Um, so, um, yeah, they're just rubbing it in at this point. <laughs> um, right. Um, so yes, yeah, so if you hear a noise outside, that's what it is. Um, female foxes will make a den, maybe digging underneath a tree or a garden shed, and they will produce four to five cubs, which will be born around April-ish. Um, and they reach sort of full maturity by sort of last quarter of the year, so October, November. Um, and on average, females will breed three or four times um, in their lifespan. A male, only once. Man, and I thought I was having a dismal time of things. Uh, once in a lifetime, jeez. Um, anyway, so that's the end of our genital talk about foxes. As you can see, I'm nearly dead. Did much better on my one life <laughs> um, on the before this credit, which is insane. Um, on my practice run, I did get to the next level, which is like an ice fella, but ah well, can't be cheating. Um, so what we got coming up on the channel? Um, well, uh, this week we've got the weakest link on the PlayStation One. It's been a while since I've done a PlayStation One game, and then the following week I'm doing I'm going right back to the past with the Arcade of Krull. 
if you remember the, the old uh, movie there, Kroll. So yeah, that's coming up. So yeah, look, got, got some stuff in the bag, and then um, I'm thinking about doing a, a wrestling one for the end of the month because it's the Royal Rumble. But yes, um, let's just see this sad little scenario play out. Have a look at some of the other videos. Look at her; she takes off all her clothes, turns blue, and then dies, um, which is sort of like pneumonia. Um, but yeah, sad times for her there, and sad times for me as this challenge comes to an end. But please have try the challenge yourself. Have a look at some of the other videos. Maybe you can beat me. You certainly probably will. <laughs> you probably won't beat some of the others. But it's the taking part that counts. And maybe you can select a game for the next time. But yes, anyway, thank you for joining me on this silly excursion. And K, thanks, bye. <laughs>